that there's a secret to burning fat and get fit faster? I want to share that secret with you today. It's something called metabolic training, which are workouts done in a high-intensity fashion in a short period of time, and it produces amazing fitness and fat loss results. Now, even if you don't have any workout experience, even if you're totally out of shape, even if you're brand new to exercising, it's very easy to do this type of workout and get amazing results. So I don't want you to get intimidated by the idea of high-intensity workouts, okay? Let's get to the secret. Now, the traditional way of working out is going to the gym, spending 30 to 45 minutes on the treadmill or the elliptical or the bike and doing steady state cardio. And steady state cardio is just finding your target heart rate on the chart and then getting your heart rate up there and holding it there for 30 to 45 minutes. The problem with that is there's no such thing as a target heart rate. That is old information and it's misinformation. So what you're really doing when you're on that treadmill for 30 to 45 minutes is just burning time and burning some calories that aren't coming from fat. These calories are actually coming from carbohydrates that are stored in your muscles and in your liver. Correct me if I'm wrong, but what we want to do is burn fat, right? So to burn fat, we're going to have to do a different type of cardio workout, but we'll come back to that in just a minute. On to the secret. Now let's talk about what happens when you get off that treadmill, that elliptical, that bike after 30 to 45 minutes and it's time to firm and tone your body. You might do some resistance training like squats, lunges, rows, and presses with weights. And all that is going to take you another 30 to 40 minutes to do. No one has an hour to hour and a half every day to work out, right? You just don't have that type of time, and I understand, which is why metabolic training is so much better, because it puts your body into afterburn. Metabolic training is completely different than anything you've ever done in a gym. They are higher intensity, but a lot shorter in time, and they combine the cardiovascular training and the resistance training into one. So let me explain what I mean here. Remember when I talked about the target heart rate? Now imagine this, imagine that you do a set of squats with dumbbells to tone your legs. You're getting resistance training in, but instead of resting in between sets, you're going to spend the next 30 seconds doing a plank. We call that active rest. Then you're right back up and doing squats again and boosting your heart rate up. So in reality, your heart rate is going above and beyond your target heart rate zone when you're doing the resistance training, and then it slightly comes down when you're doing your plank and work in the midsection and core. Imagine if we just did four rounds of that, and now we're going to switch stations and we're going to do lunges as your resistance training workout and push-ups as your active rest. Can you see how your heart rate would peak and valley with this type of workout? Here's what's cool about that. When you're using dumbbells and performing the lunges, you're working those muscles and really boosting your heart rate, and when you switch over to the push-ups, you're still working your muscles, but not as hard, so you get a bit of rest. Just enough to go back to the lunges and boost your heart rate again. So I hope you see what's happening here. Unlike the cardiovascular training where you're on a treadmill or a bike or elliptical in the gym doing steady state cardio, we're doing something called interval training. Intensity up, intensity down, intensity up, intensity down for 30 second bursts at a time. That's why our workouts are under an hour, but you get so much done in that short period of time. And because you're using this metabolic training technique, you put your body into afterburn. Here's the great part about that. Your metabolism stays up for up to 36 hours after you work out thanks to the afterburn effect. Sadly, we can't say that for steady state cardio. Now, what do you want? Do you want your metabolism to go up and up and up after you work out? Or do you want it to come crashing back down to where it normally is? Then remember that the secret to burning fat is maintaining a higher metabolism throughout the day. That's what afterburn is known to do. High intensity interval training gives you the afterburn effect. The afterburn effect increases your metabolism when you leave our fitness center, ultimately burning more fat, even when you're at home hanging out with your family, resting, doing your thing. I hope that makes sense to you. So the next time you're thinking about getting a workout in, get the most from your workout by using my metabolic training system so you can burn more fat in less time. To come try out our workout, just click the link down below in the description box.